because if I don't have cash, baby, I'm gonna starve the whole weekend. I got the hunks in a stimela, it could you could you, my love, and it could unneeze a quality could you could you mean I'm not getting on a train. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi I'm Dwala, my name is Gamo. And to all my returning subscribers, hi I'm Dwala, welcome back to yet another video. Today we're doing a sit down. I asked you guys, when did you realize that this man is not what he said he is? And you guys obviously came through with the responses, so that's what we're gonna be reacting to today. But before we get into the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload. As you know by now, we're celebrating 10K subscribers. So what we usually do on this channel is we celebrate. We are having my favorite wine of all times, Paul Kluwa, guys. One thing about it two things about it <laughs> we will celebrate okay any given moment we will celebrate mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just the sound of it all the sound. The sound of it all. happy 10k cheers guys please bear with me i am using my phone like i said the screen is crashed i am going to be shifting and changing and moving around so i can be able to read nicely let us have our first sip we are choosing not drinking Oh. oh it's so nostalgic like it is so nice guys i hope when you watch my sit downs you also have a glass of something because i feel like that's the only way you'll enjoy it i find it very awkward to be watching someone who's doing like a story time drinking and i'm not drinking like i watch nande if you want if you know nande um i watch nande a lot and big nans so whenever she's doing her story times or a sit down she's always having a glass of something now that I was, in, I was on a drinking break, I like tried to avoid all her sit-downs because I'm just like, every time Nanda is doing a sit-down, I always have the urge to drink with her because it's so enjoyable when you're drinking. We laugh together. It's a vibe. So I hope when you're watching my videos, you also feel the same way. You feel like getting yourself a glass off. You don't have to have Paul Kluver. You can have anyone you want. You can have any drink that you want. So yeah, let's get straight into these. All right. I said I'm going to keep everyone anonymous. People are asking me to please say their names, baby. No. <laughs> no. All right. So she says a weekend wouldn't end without him saying, baby, you could a favor. Is this during like Sally Chola? Because I feel like Sally Chola. Is it a red flag, guys? If I could a favor. I look a pretty favor alone. Maybe he was testing you to see if. Are you the woman that he can go the all the way with you know what i mean because for me personally when i was single i'd ask a favor because i want to chase you away to be quite honest because i know that's the quickest way you can chase them away if you say a favor trust trust they're going to run they are going to run unless they really want to be around then you know <laughs> and the funny thing is i never asked Jimmy for a favor because he always was there you know i'd never ask him for a favor i just ask him to do something i'd never say a favor i'd always be like I wouldn't say kupa favor because I feel like kupa favor man in has got a very bad stigma in South Africa. Kupa favor. So I feel like if you look kupa favor, now I would always if go kupa favor, just know I'm trying to push you away. At some point, Vela was pushing him away, but he didn't take it like that. He took it as a challenge. We love that for us. <laughs> One thing about it, two things about it she says he said i must buy the morning of the pill and then he'll reimburse me instead later that day he asked me for 150 cash send i sent it <laughs> then she puts a crying emoji my sister i'm glad you realized that why would you do that why would you do that why would you do that but you know like i think we all have soft sides like i think we all do have soft sides so your soft side was like you know what also this morning after it's helping me he'll reimburse me but let's just do it for my sake let's just do it for my sake you know but sending him 150 also to top that off now nah, that's where you should have drew the line to say no i know i'm helping me and i'm helping us in this situation but actually no okay we're not doing those things <laughs> but i'm not judging you because i know we all have soft sides so probably this was your soft side or your vulnerable side and then she says guys one thing about it 
Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Anyway, she says, I always had to send him a thousand rand for petrol to come see me. He drives a V class Nochal. I left. I'm sorry, that was not his car. That, that was not his car. Why must you send him petrol to come and see you? In which world does that make sense to him? That was not his car. I feel like, because also I know you. <laughs> I know you and I know that you look the part, like you look like those girls that, you look like those girls that men have to impress. Because also one thing guys, you must know that a man will look at you and a guy like analyze and to him, he's like, this is high maintenance. Just by looking at her, she looks high maintenance. She looks like a, you know, they always say I'm a slay queen. I'm like, I'm not a slay queen because of slay queen in South Africa, I feel like it's very derogatory. And I feel like, when they say you're a slay queen, it's just in a in you being a slay queen. In my hood, they call me a slay queen. I'm like, I'm not a slay queen. Please don't call me a slay queen. Unless it's the definition that Beyonce gave us. So Beyonce said a slay queen is a na 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 diva is a female version of a hustler. That's what she said. Beyonce said a, a, a slay queen is a diva. Is someone who's got her shit together. If it's the Beyonce definition of a slay queen, yeah, sure, I'm that. But if it's just the South African one, the one that has a bad stigma with a slay queen, we are Tengisa. Because in South Africa, a slave queen is someone who's selling and all these other funny things. I'm not the South African slave queen. I'm the Beyonce slave queen. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So here, I'm just like, the guy probably analyzed you. And he's like, this is giving high maintenance. It's giving, I need to impress her. And so therefore, he decided to go and maybe hire the car. Or maybe borrow it from a friend. Because you're saying every time he had to come and see you. Maybe he borrows it from a friend. And he tells the friend with Angzo Fagi petrol in them, knowing what he's gonna ask you for the petrol money. Silly, silly, silly man, silly man. But something here tells me that this is not his car. Because also they like that they like to live beyond their means. Why are you buying a car you can't afford? Why are you buying a car you can't afford? Why are you buying a car that you can't afford to drive? There's one thing about affording a car, then there's another different ball game about affording to drive the car. Because you can buy the car and the car is in your yard. All you're doing is paying the installment per month. But can you actually afford to use the car? Can you pay or buy petrol every week or weekend or whatever to use the car? You see, so that's why I'm saying he, it's giving, it's not his car. He was just, you know, because <laughs> I'm when he asked me to buy him beers so he can go out with his friends two months after dating, babe, I've been through this. I told you guys. <laughs> I told you guys. That lady I was dating, my gosh. She'd be like, I'm chilling with my friends. Can you please send me some money? And I would send it, guys, Shane. I was funding her life, hey? I was funding even umchai vum kruva wai. Like, because she'd be like, please send me money. I'm chilling with the... And they, they call each other chains. Your plumber and I'm chains today. In, in, and I'd give her. La Pomina, Umvalelewe in her room. I'm sitting in her room, bored. I could have been home drinking too because even when I'm at her house, she was, doesn't like me to drink or stuff like that. I'm just supposed to be sitting there watching movies. But it was still when the relationship was still starting because I'm never going to be very fast. I'm going to be very fast for lawyer because I'm going to be Lord, she wants to overpower me. She wants to treat this like I'm dating a man. You know what the man It's like? I don't know, man. It was different. It's different with the man. I feel like. I feel like I want that authority over me, but obviously not control. There's a difference between authority and control. You know what I mean? She was just blatantly outright controlling me or really trying to control me. You know what I mean? So I know this. I know when he, you're funding his life, you're funding his fun, you're funding his... Two months after dating, he was trying you out. He was, he was, he was trying you. Baby, he was trying you. We got Zam, and I'm sure Zam again, but we smell like me. <laughs> at some point she was like give me your card i was like no not the card like yeah i can send the money but i can't give you the card because i would always be embarrassed as to how much i had in my account if she was gonna see what i actually don't actually have money and now i'm giving you my last cents because i'm just like i want you to go have fun i don't want you to sit there and be embarrassed with other people you know what i mean so i wouldn't want to give her my card because i'm like maybe she's gonna check my balance and stuff you know and I don't want to give you my pen. Like, no, let me rather send you the money than you can go have fun. Then I'm going to sit here and be stressed about how am I going to get to work the next week. Period. Sana. She says, Wang Sugele, and he told me he's expecting some funds. Until today. 
So I'm sure now you're watching that because you were like, I, this one getting mild. This was my engine. See, I've run up it. I don't ever get that whole concept, guys, of people hanging around people because money. Like people said, they're gonna receive like a certain amount of money. You know what I mean? But I'm sure we'll like because I don't think you. It's the person you're currently with because now I know you're with someone else. Nah. Now I know you're with someone else. Nah. <laughs> but I don't like. I feel like maybe at the time you just you are like waiting to see is the money going to come out or not. You know. But I I know someone who till this day is with someone because. They're still waiting for their road extra and fund money. This is money that was supposed to come out in 2003. We are in 2024. I'm just like, I know this girl doesn't like this man. <laughs> I know she doesn't. She doesn't like him. She doesn't like him. All she's doing is just hanging around because she's just waiting for the funds. But are the funds coming? I don't think the funds are coming, doll. Since 2003, be so for real. Get your life together. Like, get your life together. And the thing is, she's not even working. She's just waiting for him to cash out. Doll, come on. And the sad thing is that she might leave, ne? Then the guy cashes out. <laughs> but that's why she shouldn't listen to me. Like, don't listen to my advices, please. Because I'm just like, it's wrong. The first thing, the first wrong thing is to stay or hang around or stick around the person solely based on the fact that they're waiting for funds do you get what i mean that's wrong love umuntu without anything like the way i'm going the way as let her going to love them for who they are and how they are don't be there just because you're waiting for something in their life to pop do you get what i mean but now that i know that that's what you're there for honestly i'd be like why are you still there because you don't like him go go because even when he cashes out you know you're still not gonna like him because when that money runs out what's you gonna do you're gonna go away then this is how you guys start killing each other. He's gonna start killing because he loves that man loves that lady because that lady is not hi God, we matter like <laughs> it's not something he would score easily, kind of thing. Like hey, same community was about but you know what I mean? Hey Sana, life is like that. I see when he kept asking me for petrol money, mind you, I'm a student and he was working. Guys, why do they ask you for money? Why do they ask you for money? Why do men ask you for money? That's so cringy. And he was working. Were well, you sending the money, my sister? You are sending the money. Hi right, guys, I know shame. You see now. Also, Maktalama relationship when relationships are just starting, they're still so fresh. You do anything. Especially if you really like the person. Like you see past all these things. I I know. I know now. I could never judge you because I know that we see past all these things. Like you're just like it's just like maybe it's just this one time maybe it's just this one time that he really needs me let me let me show up for my mans oh. <laughs> Ati, he asked me to buy groceries since i was staying for the weekend did you buy the groceries my question will always be did you buy the groceries because i'm sure you did i'm sure you did or did you run because i know some of you are strict some of you stand on business hey guys like some of you really stand on business I said i'm gonna make reference to because that ex all these things you guys are speaking about that ex of mine cringe faced she would i told you she'd do that every time i go see her i have to make sure i have cash so i can be able to provide my own food because if i don't have cash baby i'm gonna stop the whole weekend you get what i mean so what do you mean i'm gonna spend the whole weekend with you and i'm gonna be hungry come on chelsea come on now chelsea come on now <laughs> Yo, but groceries is crazy. I would have to have money when I go see this girl. And we would buy like takeouts. I don't have to buy groceries, no. I'd buy takeouts, you know. There was a place called karaoke. Karaoke, karaoke, something like that. They sell chicken. Like it's a it, it's a Portuguese, I think, kind of. Like they sell, I think it's a Portuguese kind of shop type of thing. So I would always buy a karaoke corner. Like just buy a chicken, two pieces. I'd have to buy myself because she eats in the house by the way because remember i told you she was living in the room outside so she eats in the house i eat in the room my food she brings a plate to the room we sit together and we eat hey sana <laughs> she says i was a student who did promos he worked and he got paid well he borrowed 500 rand for petrol guys Okay, so this is part. This is a three part. Okay, so he borrowed five hundred rand for petrol. Same guy took me to KFC and I ordered a meal that I would usually get. And he said it's an expensive meal because he's paying for it at KFC. Are you joking? <laughs> are you joking? Are you, 
Are you joking? But I think I think generally men are stingy with girls that they, that they don't like. Like and like I said, sometimes you analyze and we are born with She looks like she's got money. She can take care of herself. And then because he's not really feeling you like that, he's like, you'll take care of your own self. You'll take care of your own bills. He'll complain about things like a meal at KFC. Guys, I think the cheapest meal at KFC that I like to buy is a streetwise too. I love a streetwise too with pub or with chips. I get ya. I make my bread. It's like 40 rand. Come on, Chelsea, come on now. Chelsea, come on. Uzong Bali Sela, but a meal I always buy myself. And I love the fact that she's saying it's a meal that you always buy yourself. You're not asking him to do something that's you're not used to doing for yourself. You're used to buying yourself this kind of a meal. It's not like you're used to buying yourself like a Mac, what do you call it? A Big Mac. Now that you're with him, you're asking him to buy you a McFeast. No, you're used to buying yourself a McFeast. So when you're with him, you're like, no, buy me a McFeast. And you know, when you're like this, I know it's, it's very easy. If he's going to be round around and saying a whole lot of things, you're like, you know what? Thank you. I'll actually buy myself what I want. Because now Uyang Bali said, you're complaining about a meal that I always get myself. Like, like, let's just be so for real. Like the first thing we need to be is for real. Lapo, he was working and getting paid well. And you were just a student doing promos. Like, I think he just didn't like you. I honestly think he just did not like you. And sometimes they like to live beyond their means. He saw that you're probably high maintenance from what he's looking at. And he's like, high maintenance, I was just trying to shrink her. You know, they like to do that as well. They like to want to shrink you, make you feel like you're too much. You're not too much. Those standards keep them. Okay. When he said he had money, only to find out he's broke and has been in prison for two years. Nandi man. Is that you I'm seeing there? And when I went, sorry, and I went to see him in prison, only to find out he has a wife and kids. Ay, guys, ah, guys. <laughs> sorry. What? Wait, how did you find out? Why did you go see him in the prison? Na and I'm even joking saying Nandi. Ah, what? Ah, Makutuman, he has one good sunshine. Guys, Nandi's out of. Ah! <laughs> Why did you go see him in prison? How was it? Guys, how is it to visit someone in prison? You know, I remember my mom took me once um there's an uncle of mine who was imprisoned and he was like very close with my mom my mom would take me i think he took she took me once or twice and i wasn't obviously allowed to go in they'd keep me the like the furthest from the prison or whatever and i'd be there like playing because it was like a play area you know but my mom wouldn't tell me that we actually went to visit him at jail my uncle only told me when he came out of jail that you know you were coming to visit me at jail but i never even saw him in, in the jail also how is it to visit? I want to visit someone in the jail, like at my big age, but like, no, God forbid, but like, just for the experience, just for the culture. You know what I mean? How is it to visit someone in the jail? Like, what do you get there and do? A deep ass kiss? You know, I can't keep my hands off my man. Someone actually commented and said, the way I look at my man is like, I'm always ready for action. Yes, now. What is this? I like him. He's very nice. He's hot. I can't resist him. When I look at him, I just, I want to. Piam, piam, piam. <laughs> Why am I talking about my business? But I'm just like, I can't keep my hands off of my man. I can't, like when I look at him, I just want to, I want to live in, not his skin is even, I want to live in, I want to be his bloodstream. Do you get me? I want to be his bloodstream. So when you're visiting someone in the prison, how does it work? I don't know if South African prisons look like American prisons because on American movies or in documentaries, we see there's like that thing, that booth, and you speak on the phone and there's security and there's glasses and, I think the most I've seen them do is when someone comes and visits, then they're sitting like uh, across each other and there's a chair. But you can't touch, right? Like you can't touch and you can't kiss. You can't hug. Hey, I would pass away. I would die. I would die. I would die. I would literally die. How, guys, how does it feel? Please let me know. Like share with me your prison stories, guys. How, how does it go? Does anyone else have prison experience? Like, not not you personally being in the prison, but like have a family member or a loved one, like a lover. I feel like a family member, it's okay, bruh. You don't have to kiss and touch. But a lover, guys, I'm very, I'm clingy. My love language is touch. I'm clingy. I want to touch you. I want to lay on you. I want you to touch me. If you don't touch me, I, I automatically assume you don't like me. I swear. Like, must stand down. Mangi tanda, un tanda. Not mouse sanction. Mouse sanction, like, keep your hands to yourself. Madame, I say, sit chola, sing it, feel a sing it, tanda, un tanda. Tolung bamba. Tolung bamba, please.
So I wonder how does it feel if you're visiting someone at the jail? Sana, I'd scream. Hectic. Okay, she says, when he'd constantly get my hopes up for special occasions, for example, my birthday, uh, as if he has something planned, but on the day, he doesn't do anything. I hate that. I hate that. And that's one thing men excel at. He will be like, what are you doing on the 25th? And you're like, no, I'm free. And he's like, okay, let's go out. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, shut On the 25th, when the day comes, he'll ask you during the day, hi, how are you? What's up? What you up to? And you're like, what am I up to? Are you not supposed to be like, what time must I fetch you? Are you ready? And you're like, no, I'm just chilling. What are you up to? And he's like, oh, I'm also just chilling. I'm sorry. Are we not supposed to be meeting today? Like, you guys are so absent-minded. Like, but I always feel like this is with someone who really doesn't like you like that. Like, it's someone who really doesn't care about you like that. Because people that care are very attentive to detail. Like, the smallest thing is very, very important. Like, if you planned a date with me, you would know that on the 25th, we said we're going out. Let's meet up. So how have you said we're meeting on the 25th? Then on the 25th, you ask me what am I up to? Babe, I'm waiting for you. What is all this? <laughs> But I hate this. This is a very big cringe of mine. Like I hate it. I like it aches me when someone does this. Like even you know, even with friends, guys, there are friends that are like that. Hey, like and Tony Ton said, like stop pouring into people that aren't pouring into you. If someone makes plans and then the day off comes and then so I I used to be like that as well. But I I really worked on it and I think I'm doing very well right now. Like if you plan something, I will continue to confirm. Like I said, I've I've I've, I've I was like I was like this as well. Like. I think last year and last of last year, like the past two years, I really was this kind of person. Not even, for me, it was not so much special occasions. For me, it would be like just planning a date. Like we'll plan a date, we'll keep, like a random day like that. Then when the day comes, I'm just not going to show up. I'm sorry. You know? But I was like, it's costing me a lot because people who I feel like, because maybe you would have invited me some way and now I can't show up. It's like, Will I ever invite this girl again? And I hate to know that someone does never want to invite me because I never show up type of thing. You know what I mean? So I've been working on it and I think I've been doing a great job. I mean, I'm hanging with my friends out more now. Thank God they didn't ditch me. <laughs> Love you, Zooks. She says, when he started posting his girlfriend on WhatsApp and when I asked him, he said, it's his baby mama. I'm sorry. Even if it's your baby mama, then what? Why are you posting her? Are you guys still together? What are you and I doing then? Like, it doesn't make business sense. What are you and I doing? If you want to go post your baby mama, go post your baby mama. Leave me alone. Get out of my face. I'm a baby mama. They like giving them unnecessary attention, unnecessary airtime. Please. If you want to continue with your baby mama, do that. Get me out the equation because I'm not here to come and find and entertain you and your lifestyle with your baby mama. If it's her you want, get out of my face. Period. Period. He says he always posted an apartment and I thought it was his. When I had went to visit him, I found out that he stays in a commune with other students. Because why would you want to continue? <laughs> How old was he, friend? Also, I feel like you should have shown grace. Maybe if he was a student. Come on, guys. We're not going to put students under pressure. We're not going to put people that are trying to make life better for themselves under pressure. Unless he was a grown-ass man who posed as if he's a successful, independent, one-man show kind of person. Then only later, Chigi Chigi. Oh, no, actually, I also have the same story. Must I do a story time about it? No, it, it didn't take long. Because you know one thing about me, in there, it will last a week or two weeks. I had the same situation where this guy... When we started talking, man, he would be like, he lives alone, blah, 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 blah. Then he invited me over for Sunday lunch and I went. When I got there, he's a fourth tenant. There's other three other people. When I got there, we were just chilling, me and I, and he had cooked Sunday lunch, right? We were eating, eating, eating. I'm thinking maybe he's hosting his friends for the weekend or whatever the case is. If I'm hosting you, there's no way you're going to walk in, go to another room, go and dish up for yourself. Come back, sit down and be so comfortable. I was like, mm, something is not making sense here. And when he when they got in, they greeted me and he was like, Oh, meet Van Bans, Van Bans, Van Bans, Van Ban. They are my roommates. Four. I said, Okay. Nice meeting you. 
after I was finished with the rices and the chickens and the steaks, I was like, I buy. Because I was like, what is going on? Why in Mabengaga buy four? And you know, and after that, every time he has to come and see me because he was all the way in Centurion and I was in Katlehong, and he'd always be like, Uzwan Man is using my car. Like, after that day, he'd always have, like, Uzwan Man is using the car. I'm like, You guys share an apartment, you share cars, like, it's, it's too chaotic, doll. It's too chaotic, my doll. So let's just leave this alone because every time you have to see me, I must always understand. And the thing is, he had never told me about these people until I went there that Sunday. We'd been speaking for just a week because he was a sales uh, consultant at Game. He was selling phones. So we'd speak, spoken for a week. He invited me for lunch. I was like, all right, let me go have lunch. There's nothing wrong with a little lunch. I wanted to get there and the situation is really unfavorable. Then after that, every time he has supposed to see me, he asks me to take a how train. I'm like, there's no how trains in Katlehong, my love. A Katlehong is a my love. And it could unease a quelle kuchukuchu, mean, I'm not getting on a train. I am terrified of trains, buses. I feel like I'm not man. Train, the bus, I'm standing. Uts me, I'm quelle how train. There's no how train in Katlehong. He's like, okay, yeah, what other trains are there for you to get to the insurance? I'm like, fetch me, like, do something. Treat me like a queen, like, what is all this? And he's like, no, get a train. Trains are cheaper. I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> At the, I asked him to buy me airtime. Later, he sent me a picture of the airtime slip. He had Googled the picture. <laughs> that is so embarrassing. What? Nina evil that is so cruel oh my gosh and at that time i'm sure you were like oh let me put an airtime at the time he googled the picture what did you say did you confront him <laughs> this is crazy did you confront him what was his response what did he have to say for himself like that is like what is that though like what is that like how do you even come back from that like i can't i can just try to i'm trying to imagine myself explaining to you what had happened like and google a picture and send you a picture of airtime that i got on the internet like does it make business sense <laughs> that is crazy she says okay i'm gonna read it in english she says um, the guy said that he doesn't have 20 rand to pay at the toll gate. That time he's a manager at mine. Lies. <laughs> Doll. I think, I think he was also testing you. He wanted to see, what he, are you going to be considerate? Maybe he was paying for the trip. Maybe you guys are going on a road trip. What was, what was the occasion? Were you guys going on a road trip? Or was he coming to see you? Were you going to see him? Are there toll gates in between? What was the vibe, you know? So maybe he wanted to see, are you willing to at least pay for one thing? For one thing like that? You know what I mean? He was just testing you. And you're like, no. <laughs> oh, because also you know his occupation. You're like, how is an entire manager asking me? A mine manager at that asking me to pay for a toll gate? 20 rand, be so for real. Be so, like, be the most for real you've ever been. Ah, Mara, guys, grace. Like, extend some grace. Like, not really, I will always feel a little bit embarrassed as to, like, I'm bringing nothing to the table. I, like, I feel like maybe it's because I, I will always show grace. Let me just say, I'll always show grace. Like, I'll always have that, that, that thing of like, like, just small embarrassments, small shyness like that. Like, let me take out 20 rand if he insists obviously you know and i'm so glad that i mean he doesn't insist she does not like he'll do everything himself like if i do something it's really out of the goodness of my heart but most of the time he'll be like no don't do that i'll do that and i'm just like okay cool <laughs> you know but he grace small grace like that small embarrassments like that it's just the toll gate 20 runs come on now take it out <laughs> At him, my scat, he asked me for money to start a business when he was a home manager. Guys, what is it with them asking for money though? Like, where does that stem from? Like, I just feel like if a guy's gonna ask you for money, I'm sure he's trying to test you. Because, babe, there's no way you're asking me for money. Why are you asking me for money? You're asking me for money for what? Like, why? Uncle Pachelete, my love. When did we get to a point where you were comfortable asking me for money? Did I ever 
show you signs that it's okay for you to do that because if i did no please let's take it back let's roll back let's roll back the cameras cut the cameras now cut the cameras now because no i'm not the one don't ask me for money now let me give you money if i want to give you money like which is never obviously because <laughs> But you can't ask me for money like let's be so for real at he when he literally pulled out his hand for my card to get us flavor was keep our send river so you guys were probably buying and he was like card please card please <laughs> is it because he had paid for something else and then he was asking you to cover maybe the flavor maybe he had paid for the whole hubby i don't know i don't smoke hubby i don't know how hubby works do you pay for the flavor coal and the stand separately or do you pay for everything all at once because i know like it costs almost 600 grand you know i was so glad we went to ethnic this past weekend with uzugi and both of us are not really like hubby smokers zugi's zugi smokes hubby if you call it like if for example people have lit hubby she'll smoke but she's not fussy she's not gonna be like i want shisha I want sh no she's not like that so i was glad because also their hubby there was a bit you know what i mean I don't know how it works though. I don't know what to do. You buy the stand, the, the pipes and the flavor separately and the coal separately and the water separately. Or does it come as one? That's how they say 600. Because maybe everything is like 200, 400, 300. Then the total is 10 million. I don't know. <laughs> how does it work? Nothing I want. That's delicate. That's cocaine flavor. I'm going to phone up them. You want to smoke, right? Can I have the cash? The thing I would scream it. You think I scream my own? The thing I would scream it. <laughs> All right, let's do the last one, guys. She says he was a doctor at Mall Park, but the dude was using taxis. So that's when you realize he's not what he says he is. It happens. What if he was? It was his first year as a doctor. Because guys, I've got a friend. He's a lawyer, and he still uses taxis. Ben. Ben uses taxis. We went to high school together and he's practicing now for two years, I think, yeah? Yeah, he's been practicing for the past two years. He still uses taxis. I never asked him why he doesn't have a car, but I figured he's still trying to get his life together. So I'm not in a position to judge him, you know? I don't know what his plans are for the future. I don't know what his plans are when it comes to getting a car. And like I said in the beginning, guys, sometimes, like, just don't live beyond your means. Maybe he's trying to live below his means. When he gets the car... He's not just getting a car he's getting a car you know what i mean so <laughs> you never know someone's plans you really never know someone's plans like you never know someone's plans guys like you know the news these days they're exposing things that are like you could have never imagined something of that nature happening because you're just like this is a prominent figure in society how is she 40 million rand in debt type of thing you know what i mean how is her things getting repossessed how is her car getting repossessed how is her house getting repossessed like the media is exposing so many different things and layers to people that you were thinking are prominent figures you were thinking she's earning this much he's earning this much but things in life does happen sometimes so i think yeah maybe you also should have extended some grace to say yeah sure my doctor man is catching a taxi to work there's nothing wrong even if you catch a kuchu kuchu train it's okay it's okay come and see me now come and see me car is not a problem because when they take the car now you're gonna start looking weird now i'm going to start to be like oh where's the car now you're walking hey you're boring me <laughs> because he's walking you know what i mean so I think you should have just extended grace guys it's just so much fun to do thank you so so much for sharing i hope you did enjoy this video and guys just to close it off i am going to be hosting a 10,000 subscribers lunch on 10,000. i'm inviting 10 ladies to have brunch with me and i will communicate further details with you guys so the winning criteria is very simple how you can join me for lunch i'm sorry my phone got cut the temperature is overheating crazy business anyway i was saying the winning criteria is very simple guys all you need to do is just to let me know when did you join the channel or when did you join Bomtwala? when did you start watching us and let me know what has been your favorite moment so far on any of my video what has been your favorite memory or me moment on any of my videos whether old or new video and that's just about it then shimi my man my man my man and tuma thank you tuma drop the tuma <laughs> he is gonna randomly select who he thinks is i don't know i don't know what he's gonna use as a criteria to sorry 
I don't know who he's gonna use as a criteria to select and then I will communicate further details with you please comment only on this particular video please comment only on this particular video this one that you're watching right now and guys don't be shy to say you joined the channel two days ago or you joined the channel an hour ago because i know some people will be lying and saying i joined the channel when you were born baby the channel was actually born two days ago so don't lie like don't lie you don't have to lie like it, it i don't think it will matter when he checks because he doesn't know anything he's just going to be helping me choose at random who will go to the lunch on so it, it really doesn't matter and the reason why i'm putting this on the story time is because my story time usually do better than my vlogs so i feel like if i put it on a vlog not everyone watches my vlogs i'm not sure why but you know it is what it is so don't worry like don't don't be scared to say you joined us two weeks ago you joined us a week ago whatever the case is but i just don't want you to lie and say you joined us in 1991 you know it's not true the channel was not born when i was born the channel is barely two years old so thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy this reactions video i will see you on my next video before you go though don't forget to like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you can get notified every time i upload and yes bye